Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jess. I'm going to be going over how I drew this persona of me and introducing myself. I brought up this old version, mostly just as a reference. I also just wanted to show the things that I'm changing between it. My initial one was very clean, had these very crisp lines and clean gradients, and that's all well and good, but I wanted this very kind of personal touch feeling for it where it's comfortable and hand-drawn feeling, because I feel like that's the vibe I want to give with this channel, just very passionate and very self-indulgent. This entire project of mine is very much based off of wanting to be who I want to be. <laughs> Uh, you can see in the video, I forgot to hit record again. You also see at this point, the branding logo went off because I realized that I could not keep remembering to hit the record. There were a couple times in the video where I just didn't record it because it would stop recording every 10 minutes. And when you're in the zone, you're paying attention to the recording. You're paying attention to the art. And I love just getting in the zone, so it was definitely worth the money I spent on it. I used to record with XSplit, but it's always a headache to try and figure it out, and it's really meant more for streaming than anything else. I've been learning a lot about video editing in the past like 24 hours. I spent a lot of time just not being comfortable using it. I learned about it when I was in college, but actually having to apply myself and cut the clips together, it's been really useful. And that wasn't really what we focused on when I was in school. I went to school for animation and we did a lot of things like stop motion and also just editing the color and doing transitions and things like that, which is really useful for live action editing. So I think it's kind of funny that's what we were learning in the animation class. But if you think about it, 3D uses a lot of the same principles that you would use in live-action filmmaking, so it makes sense. A lot of schools will focus on 3D animation nowadays, and my interest has always been 2D animation, but since there isn't a lot of money in that, people don't think it's worth teaching purely 2D animation. We were mostly just taught that to focus on the fundamentals of like how animation even works, but you can always tell that the focus is very much on 3D. This little symbol on my shirt that I'm drawing, it's supposed to look like the symbol on Don's hat from Pokemon Pearl and Diamond. It's a... it looks kind of like a motor gauge now that I'm looking at it, but it's supposed to be a Pokemon symbol thing. I was doing it to do a Pokemon trainer cosplay with my brother and his wife when we went to a convention. We all dressed up as our Pokemon trainers, and the main game that I had played was Pokemon Pearl and Diamond. I used to love it. When I was in my teens, I just played it all the time. As I'm coloring this, I decided to change one of the features from the old one, and it was putting these colored pants in there. This is one of my favorite pairs of pants, and I feel like it's an important change from how I was presenting myself before, because these black jeans that I depict myself in is what I would wear during work and stuff like that and I wanted to embrace more of how I self-express and who I am. I'm still playing around with how I want to edit my videos and record them, but it's definitely been a very good learning experience to put this together, and I hope you guys like it. Like and subscribe, and comment down below why are you a furry if you got to the end of the video. Thanks, bye!